Today we're going to talk about duty factor, and first up I'm going to start by saying that duty factor is not related to operating frequency. What this is, is it's the percentage or fraction of time that the system is transmitting sound. It's also known as temporal or temporal peak because this measures when the pulse is on, which means it's also related to pulse duration. Pulse duration is the time from the beginning of the pulse to the end of that same pulse, which represents the on time. In this diagram here, you can see that this is one pulse here, followed by a listening time, followed by a pulse, followed by another listening time. If you're asked on your boards, duty factor is related to what principle? You're going to look for Doppler principle. If you don't have this option, look for pulse duration, temporal, or temporal peak. This is because if pulses are continuously transmitted, then the duty factor is 1 or 100%. In this animation here, you can see that the pulses in red are being transmitted. This is the on time. And the pulses in blue represent the listening time as they travel or reflect back to the crystal. The on time can also be referred to as the active time, while the listening time can also be referred to as the dead time. In this animation, you can see how each little square represents a pulse. This is the on time. When the machine is off, your duty factor is 0%. And keep in mind that duty factor is a unitless number. Pulse wave Doppler has a low duty factor of less than 1 because it only has one crystal for the transmission and the listening time of the pulse. This diagram here represents one crystal that transmits and receives. The system only pulses 0.1 or 1% of the time and listens 99 or 99.9% .9 of the time. Continuous wave Doppler has a high duty factor because it has two crystals, one for transmitting and one for listening. In this diagram here, you can see that there are two crystals one that transmits, and one that listens. This means that continuous wave Doppler has a duty factor of 1 or 100% because it's continuously on. You'll also have to know that color Doppler and power Doppler also have a high duty factor because they are both constantly on. When you compare duty factor and depth, you'll have to know that they're reciprocals of each other. That means when you image in shallower depths, you're going to have a higher duty factor. When you image deeper, your duty factor will decrease. The reason why superficial regions have a higher duty factor is because your PRF is high, which is directly related. When you compare duty factor and PRP, you'll have to know that they're inversely related. That means as duty factor increases, your PRP will decrease because there's less listening time. Your duty factor and period are also inversely related because as your duty factor increases, your period will decrease. On the other hand, duty factor and pulse duration are directly related because as duty factor increases, Pulse duration also increases because you have more cycles per pulse. Thank you so much for watching.